hi everybody welcome back to my channel and anybody that's new welcome so today we are going to make a jenga block uh tree of life um i did one a while back on a reef and i thought how cool would it be to make one out of jenga blocks and have like a freestanding one that you could put as a centerpiece on a console on a side table um so i have a few different ideas so as I go along things may change but um I have I'm not sure exactly how um I want to finish the final piece as in with leaves or peat moss or uh, reindeer moss I haven't really decided yet so we are going to use and I already moved these out of the way haha <laughs> um so we are going to use the Dollar Tree just Dollar Tree Jenga blocks today and we are going to use well bond and well bond you can get at rona lowe's home uh, i think home depot has it uh amazon has it but it's cost for shipping and you can also get it at michael's as well i use it i haven't used the actual wood glue of gorilla glue i've used the just the gorilla glue in the silver tube didn't like it and i believe that was on the hula hoop clock um, so I prefer this one and better than E6000 as E6000 can be toxic and should be done in a well-vented area and this is non-toxic and it works just as good. I find it works better but that's just my preference. So we're going to start off with the main the main stem of the tree, the trunk. The trunk is going to be another piece added on but we're just going to start with the one side of the trunk right now and there is going to be eight rows of blocks with two so 16 on the one side the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build some branches and i have, have pre-glued some and i've let them dry overnight and we are going to start with the top row and i'm just going to do one side i am going to show you the and um the glued ones so the first row will be one so this is like the tip of the tree the next row will be three blocks and I'm just going to place them like this. I'm not going to position them because I'll show you what I mean. Uh, three blocks. What am I doing? Three blocks. Another row of three blocks. And what I'm going to do the next row is going to be five. So three. So we're doing five branches on um, each side sorry six so five six branches on each side i said five okay i just want to make sure so we go one three three five we're going to do another row of five sorry i said all my blocks i don't know where they all disappeared to i don't have them all in the container here so another three now you can change the shape of them as well. Try to keep the bases a little uh, closer together so it just has better hold when you do glue them on. I do suggest, like I said, leaving them overnight to dry as you move on with steps. I get a little excited trying to play around with it and then you know what, it's, it may look dried on the outside but sometimes you know that still needs pieces in, uh, in part need to, um, you know, cure very well so the next row will be six so the final row is six and those ones i want to put them really tight together you can still put them on an angle but just closer together so then we got one three three five five and six so you're going to do that on both sides and the total blocks for the branches i'll, I'll give a breakdown at the end of the video just because the trunk itself is gonna be, and the base is gonna add them on. So I will give a total trunk, but the, the branches itself are 46 on both sides. So I'm gonna move these because I already have them pre-glued. So we're gonna start off with the one, and there's a trick how we're gonna glue it. So we're gonna do the one. I'm just gonna do them as I go. So the one, as you can see, some have a little bit of a space. Just to, you're trying to get that round effect. 
of the tree itself. Oh, we got one more here. Okay, so I'm gonna try to line them up right here. So the next one, we'll go back and exact same to the other side. Kind of like this. So you're gonna lift that out. You're gonna move it closer. You're gonna make them like touch. You're gonna adjust them once you put them underneath. You're gonna make them touch. The reason why is you want them to touch because then it's gonna glue to this one side of the trunk. And then you're just gonna take a block when you're gluing and stick it down here, only for the fact to keep this side from not falling over. So you're gonna to try to center them. So see what you can, you can adjust them how you want them to be shaped. I'm trying to do trying to shape them out so a little bit rounder there we go I think just like that so I just want to make sure they are that it's even it looks like it's over a bit you're just gonna have to play around to center them now you can add more branches you can take a branch out make one side a little thicker I'm just gonna keep them even on both sides and then what I'll do is and then you're just gonna, I'm gonna put a mark here and a mark up here, and I'm just gonna put all the weld bond glue, and I'm going to, and you have this one here just so it keeps this side up, and then I'm gonna take something, once I put the glue on them, just to make sure that it glues solid and it shouldn't be able to move. See, this one's being able to move but you're gonna to wanna to put something super heavy on there and at least dry it for a couple hours. I'd say overnight, best bet. Um, and then so you have them glued on. Then we're gonna flip it over and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now I let this dry overnight and I thought I'd just dry the other piece on before I go to work. So as you can see, it's dried totally on both sides. Now, when I was doing the, um, I'm gonna flip it this way. So you can flip it the one way, but I just wanna show you, I want the the third row, which was supposed to be one, three, three, five, five, six. I'm gonna do one, three, four. I just wanted to kind of level out on both sides here. And I'm just gonna glue it down like that. So while you're adding that little extra piece, we're going to do another uh, trunk, which is eight rows of two, and you're going to glue it here. So it gives it extra support, not only on the other side with keeping the blocks on, it also supports on this side. But on the bottom part here, I'm going to move this. I know it's going to be out of the camera. I don't want it to be out of the camera. On the bottom part here, I'm going to take another row of two. I'm going to glue that and that right on top. And then I'm gonna stick something hard all day while I go to work and it should be dry by the end of the day, hopefully. And then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so the second part of the back, I actually glued on and I let it dry while I was at work all day. So, and the two extra pieces actually on this one here, as you can see, it's totally dry. I don't wanna bang it or anything, but you can see it's pretty solid. So now we're gonna work on the base and I'm gonna do a run through right now before we do the base of blocks we'll need. So the total blocks that I figured out will be 94. So a box of Jenga is 72. So you're gonna need like a box and a little bit. So I think this is one of the smallest projects I've done with Jenga blocks so far, count wise anyways. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is the stand because we're gonna wanna stand it upright. Now I notice mine is a little off and you know how the Dollar Tree blocks are a little bit off and they're not all cut perfect. So I am just gonna file down a little bit just so it makes, it's a little bit more even. It's not too bad actually, but 
so on the base we're gonna kind of do like um like an x but across like this so you're gonna need uh oh sorry i know i was gonna go through the breakdown okay so on the branches so for both sides of the branches uh there was one three four five five six exactly same size for the branches is 48 for the for the um, the trunk is eight rows of two which is 16 times two so one for the front one for the back and the two little extra which is 32 blocks and the base is going to be 12 blocks now with the base you're just going to take three jenga blocks and you're just going to glue them sideways like this and you're going to need four of these so four times three is 12 so i already glued these the other day when i was playing around for a design so I, a lot of drying time guys i just step by step it will be solid as you can see and i'm shaking it super hard so you know it, it's all about the drying time letting it cure so once again i will let this dry for hours on end i'll probably even just dry it out overnight i was hoping to get this video out by friday so i'm not even sure if it's going to be out tomorrow or not it might be saturday maybe sunday i don't know so you're going to put i know it's hard to see here so you're going to do i'm just going to tilt this way but you're going to glue the blocks like long way not this way you're going to glue it on one side i'm going to flip this way so you can see you're going to glue the other three on the other side and you're going to glue another one like that and like that and this actually stands on even though it's just a bit wobbly you can see that i can just put them here and it's just tilted a little bit sometimes it's just the way i have it positioned but as you can see without gluing it will stand like this now if yours is a little bit wobbly you could do um filing on one way or what you could do is just i'm just going to use uh for example you know you could put do one block at a time i can't see on the other side if it's even or not but you want to put make sure it's even in between the two blocks on the bottom here when you do it you can just stand it upright as you glue it and just to keep and then go side by side you could do that you know you could all glue three of them on and the last one when you pull it away if it doesn't but sometimes just giving it a little file down you could use a coarse nail file just a little bit i have the hand drill um i'm probably not going to dig out the hand drill just to do a little bit and as you can see the blocks are just a little bit off here so i will do that so once i get it totally dry actually gonna paint it now because of usually the trunk and branches of a tree are brown um, I'm gonna just use some gel paint that I got from Rona and it's just a uh, uh, Rona slash Lowe's in Canada we hear we have Rona and Lowe's which are the exact same stores just two different names um, I'm just gonna use a chestnut color and I'm just gonna brush it all on I, like there is some glue marks that I can see in any other craft I would um, file it down but there's just a few glue marks that I can see they're clear but I'm just not going to worry about it because you're not going to see much of the branches anyways but I do just want to give it a base color we are going to add some more onto this um, we're going to add some jute rope to it but I just want to give it a nice base and when uh when I get this glued on and I get the the stain on, we'll move on to the next step. So I finished the stain. So I got the nautical jute rope from Dollar Tree. It's eight meters, uh, sorry, eight feet long. So I'm gonna put it on an angle. I'll probably stick like a rock here just so when I am wrapping it, I am gonna leave some and I don't think that's enough. I don't know why I feel like I need to leave some, but I'm just gonna leave about that much. Put the rock there, you're gonna wrap it. 
And I'm not gonna wrap it all the way around because I don't think you wanna see me make this video all about wrapping. See how hard I am on this? And this, like, it's awesome, this glue. It's pretty sturdy. Okay, I'm just gonna lift it up here because now. But I want it to go on an angle. So if you've watched my, um, if you watched the Tree of Life I made, I'm gonna just clip this here. I'm gonna stick a rock there and I'm gonna wrap it on an angle and it's not gonna stay on an angle because there's nothing there to hold it. And I'm gonna wrap it tight. I'm just gonna use hot glue. So I'm just gonna to skip to up here. So once you go here, I'm gonna wrap it around. So I'm gonna do it all the way up. I'm just not gonna do it on the camera, otherwise it's gonna be long. Then we're gonna to skip to the next one. We're gonna go around again. We're gonna jump there. We're gonna go up. Go up. And we're gonna end like that. We're not gonna fill in these areas here, but we are gonna do it all the way up there. So I'm gonna do this off camera. And I'm just gonna tell you how much, if we need another pack by the look of it, look, sorry, the look of it, we're gonna need two packs of the jute rope. I just want it on an angle, so just to fill in, and this, these will be filled in after, but I just wanted to show you the dynamic of what we're gonna do. Once I get this glued on, we will move to the next step. So I ended up doing it all the way up and it's basically on the wrap of the trees on a diagonal is two and then just the one on top you're not going to see it the bottom i did unravel i just used a hair dryer and i undid the bottom we are going to do that last what we're gonna how we're going to situate it at the end but the next thing we're going to do is the branches now i thought about putting lights on it but i am just going to use dollar tree reindeer moss i already took some out just the reindeer moss i wouldn't suggest the floral moss because it's very crumbly and it falls apart the reindeer moss is good sections that you can put together and you can form people say there's a smell to it i don't i don't i don't notice really much different someone said that about the tree of life what i did and then you're just gonna start putting pieces on however you want on your branches we're gonna do the front the side in between, you can just stick more on. So you can a little bit see the jute rope, but and you can also let um, spots too in between, cause it's like, you're gonna see like, kind of like branches. So you might see a little spot there, what have you. And I'm gonna do the front and the back, even though where I'm gonna put it on the shelf, you're only gonna see the front, but you know, you wanna do it full, uh, full on. So I'm just gonna give you a glimpse of, just putting it in. I thought about putting lights and I did a demo with the moss, just laying it on like I did and you couldn't really see the lights. So that to me, that's just another added um, thing that, you know, you're not gonna get much light on it. So I've just decided opted out on that, but you're more than welcome to try it yourself. And you're just gonna keep building. Maybe in the front, you wanna build some little bit more. I am just gonna use hot glue. I'm not gonna use uh, my well bond glue that I use and you're just going to keep going to all the way around I'll come back and show you that and then we'll move on to the base all right so I just wanted to come back and show you so I did I did put the green I just kept topping and topping and topping on it so this side I really didn't put that much um that much um uh, sorry, reindeer moss on it. And I just made it more poofy as you can see going and I did under, I haven't done underneath here. Reason being is, I'm just gonna put it down here. Let's see. I'm gonna put something up here. It's, so it's not, um, okay, there we go. Because I wanna put a swing. So if you've seen the Tree of Life, I was gonna do a tire and then I saw found a tire and I didn't like the tire. I know it's so I just got some the very, very thin jute rope. Now this is not in the crafting section, it's actually in the hardware section. So it's uh super thin. 
I drilled two holes with a drill and just a little bit, a little drill bit. But if you don't have a drill, you can always just glue it on top because nothing's gonna really be hanging on it unless you're actually gonna put something on there to hang and you're gonna tie a knot in it. I am gonna paint it with the wood stain. So I'm not gonna do that right here, but I just wanted to show you, tie a knot and then you're just gonna string it around and you can, you can get right into there. And then I will fill in the spots once I even it out. And then the base, as you can see, I'm going to show you here. We're going to do this last part, the base on it, once we get the bottom part on it. Now, I got this, uh, it's just like an artist palette canvas board at my local Dollar or Dollarama. But I've never seen anything like this in Dollar Tree, so... If you don't have one of these, I don't know, maybe one of your other dollar stores just has one of these. It was like $2. Um, if you don't have one of these, you could also just build yours with Jenga blocks and put your, in, put your you know, whatever sizing. This was a rectangular one. They did come with a square one, but I wanted a little bit more rectangular because I'm going to put the, put the swing on it. And then I am going to stain this when I do the swing. I'm just going to use the same gel stain. And I will just glue it on there evenly. And I hope you guys can see under a camera here. Evenly on there. So I'm going to stain it, glue it, put the swing on, and then we will come to do the base. All right, I just wanted to show you a different angle so it's not the best angle right now guys sorry i just have it on the tripod here um so once i have it so it's still drying but i'm gonna work around it so i move the rope off to the side and i'm just gonna use some dt some river rocks that we've all seen before and i'm gonna build the sides up so it goes on i'm sorry i'm gonna move my hands this way on a slant so it looks like the tree is going down with veins and we will cut that after so i am just going to put it more of like a triangle and then i'm going to put the rocks all over and glue them down so while this is still gluing i can still glue i'm just going to use a hot glue and i'm just going to glue the rocks all the way around the board probably not the best pictures guys sorry but I am gonna do it on an angle built down, like I said, kind of like a diamond, like a pyramid, I guess, kind of. So when you kind of, if you've watched my, um, the dollar store uh, tree of life, um, it's just kind of on an angle. I know it's on, on a, a reef, the other one, but this one will just be on an angle. So it looks like the tree trunk is the veins, I guess the, the roots, sorry, not veins, the roots would be going down the side. So I am going to build this up and then I will show you after what we will do with the rope. All right. So I'm holding my camera gun just so I can give you a good angle. So as you can see, I built up some rocks on the side I have I just tied up the rope here so that I could do the rocks there and it was kind of like doing a puzzle so just fitting them all in where they could possibly fit so it just has a nice even look so the next thing I'm going to do is just take a paintbrush um, if you've worked with uh, hot glue before you know that you get a lot of little strings and I just want to make sure all the strings are out of there because I had a lot in the tree, but you just want to make sure that you get all the little strings out. And then we will use some Mod Podge, and I didn't pull the Mod Podge out of the drawer. I just got it from Dollar Tree. It's just a little bottle. So I dug the Mod Podge out, and uh, I'm going to use the gloss one. I kind of want to have like a nice, like wet look to the rocks. So then I'm just going to paint all on the rocks and make them have a nice shiny coat before we do the base. All right, so I just wanted to show you that I had the rocks done and I just love the wet look of it. Now, I know when I put that one piece of rock there that I thought on an angle, it's still gonna go on an angle, but 
Uh, I just laughed because I had built up the rocks all around it, so I thought it was pretty funny when I was like, oh, what was the point of putting that rock? Now, if you don't want to put rocks on the bottom, that's um, obviously your choice. There's so many different ways you can do it. So I changed my angst. I'm not going to try to talk too loud because the camera's right in front of me. Um, it's too hard to put it on my tripod on top or on the side that you can't see. So as you can see, I still have that long piece of rope left. So I'm still going to just keep that on the side. Now I had another piece, so you're only going to need one. Um, I'd get two rolls just in case, depends how much you wrap all the way up. Um, I had this other piece from when I was doing the um, Tree of Life. So we're going to spread it apart like the other one. We're going to do it on the other rope, but this one, I'm going to attach another piece so we can do behind. So I'm just going to stick, I'm just going to stick Wait, I think it was like this, yes. So I'm gonna cut it according to the length, but I'm gonna glue that piece on. I'll cut it there, and then I'm just gonna wrap it. Wrap this around. Sorry, I'm not trying to bang my camera here. We'll do the swing last. And you're just gonna wrap around. This is not stuck in right now, but I'm gonna stick it underneath that this is in the middle of the tree in the back so you can spread those out. And then, okay, where am I? I'm lost here. Okay, that's not probably like, it's gonna be glued properly. It's just, you guys, the camera's right in front of my face here. Um, I think this won't be going around as much, but then you're gonna cut it as well here, and then you're gonna do the same same idea of spreading out the vines, depending, maybe you don't want as much, just a little bit. I'm just gonna spread them all down. Now, once I do that, I'm just gonna bring this over here, and we'll pretend this is on the front side. And you have it down. Now I'm probably just gonna use um, some, just a little bit of hot glue, just a tad, and I'm just gonna push it down. Um, if you have one of the higher settings hot glue, I wouldn't be pushing it down with your fingers or at least have those tabs on. My hot glue gun is just a cheap one from, not Dollar Tree, just from another dollar store and it's not very hot when I touch it. But as you can see, I'm just gonna, you're just gonna glue them all down to, just all the way down, and then I'll have it all, all the way around. All right, so I just finished gluing all the, the, the I guess the veins, I call them veins, I mean roots down, and I just, a little bit of hot glue all the way down, just position them all the way around. I did have extras in some spots, so I just cut them off and it was easy enough to do. I just added some, some little reindeer moss around as well for a little bit of color, but I didn't want to add too much to this because I think it makes a bigger statement when it's not too busy and too, you know, too full of stuff. I think that it turned out really well. Now I did use um, under four bags of reindeer moss. It just depends how much moss that you do put on. I just packed it on. There is a little bit of spots you can see where you can see in between, but that's that's not bad because it has the jute rope and it just gives you the color of the tree branches and such. So with the swing, I also just, instead of just using one, I actually just use, I did like a braid and I just hot glued it right on top. I'm not gonna sit nothing on it. If you don't have a drill to do the hole, you could just glue it to the top of the block and then onto the other. So the total blocks used were 94 blocks and I used, two of the um, packs for the jute rope, the thicker part, just under two packs. Um, and that's about it. I hope you guys really like it. I just loved how it turned out. I've had a few friends over and they just loved how it turned out really cute. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. If you haven't seen my original one and you wanna do a reef like this, there is one on my channel in the list of videos and we'll see you soon. Happy crafting. Bye.